Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Nick Gula Sports Arena, the home of Tennessee Homecoming 2008. All kinds of huge title matches going down tonight. And, well, Chris Kane, just the man I wanted to talk to, you've got a huge match tonight against Aiden Scott, the resurrection of the X Division title. Give me your thoughts on that. You know, Jason, I'm coming here tonight, Tennessee Homecoming, Nick Gula Sports Arena, and Aiden Scott, the X Division belt is being resurrected, and I'm taking it home with me. I don't care what I got to do to get through you, because it's coming home, and I'm going to be the new Mid-American X Division champion. There you hear it, folks. That match is coming up shortly. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Here we go, our first of many title matches tonight, and it's to resurrect the NWA Mid-America X Division title. It's Chris Kane on your right, and it's Aiden Scott on your left. And I gotta say, when I came to NWA main event about uh, seven months ago, now it was, this was one of the things that drew me to it more than anything else, is the X Division, the great competitors that they had in the X Division, the high-paced action, the I don't want to say little guys, but the guys with smaller stature than some of the heavyweights. Absolutely, and the, the title belt was held by 3G Eric Wayne, son of Nightmare Ken Wayne. And several months ago, Commissioner George Goulas stripped Eric Wayne for dastardly acts, uh, cheating week in and week out. And finally, George Goulas got fed up with it, stripped Eric Wayne, and we have yet to see a champion since then. And what a night, what a prestigious night. To, to crown a new champion. It could happen right here, a small package. Aiden Scott almost got the three there before really even landing an offensive maneuver. We almost had a new champion. And again, a roll up there by Chris Kane. Again, Aiden Scott, as you said, as I mean, these guys, the pin attempts, the crazy combinations we see out of these guys, you don't see it out of anyone else. And a lot of pin attempts early going in this contest as Chris Kane trips the leg. Pins Aiden Scott one more time, no hook of the leg, that could have cost him. And Aiden Scott now, no hook of the leg either, one, two, and that could have cost him as well. It's all back and forth. Not a lot of wear down hold so far in this match. They're going to run each other ragged just trying to pin one another there. Absolutely, both of these guys, young guys, want to hold their first title in pro wrestling, want to hold their first title in the NWA, and that's the Mid-America X Division title. Aiden Scott. There's no other person on this roster with as much tenacity as him. Chris Kane, you see, there's no other person on this roster with as much fierce, fierce competitive. I, I don't know. I don't know what the word he is. He is a here. furious individual in fierce that ring. competitor in the and ring. Absolutely. I don't know if there's anyone that at this stage of his career cares as much about this business of professional wrestling the way Chris Kane does. He is absolutely passionate, almost to a fault. And a suplex by Aiden Scott Penn attempt one, two. Not able to get the three count again. Chris Kane and I do not get along necessarily. However, in, in my dealings with him, I can see that fire in him, that passion for this business. And for such a little guy, he's got a lot of it. it absolutely, he's a, a fire plug in every sense of the word. Folks, don't forget, still to come, we have for the television championship, the champion Steve-O defending against Magnum Shane Smalls. Magnum Shane Smalls has said if he does not win the X Division title tonight, He's gone, out of the NWA for good. Some would say good riddance. You hate to see, I mean, he's obviously staking a lot on this. And it, it'd be a shame to see him go. But he might not have what it takes to take out Steve-O. He hasn't in recent weeks. And then we just heard from the Mid-America heavyweight champion, Jeff the Crippler Daniels. He will defend the title against Playboy Scott Hayes in a no disqualification, anything goes match. He sounded confident out here. Scott Hayes looked confident earlier. He's excited he won the, the, the Battle Royal earlier. He could be on a roll, Jason. This could be his night. It could very well be. And then in the main event, boy, things are going to get hot. It's, it's Brian Christopher, and it's dangerous Doug Gilbert, and that's all that needs to be said. Say, the last time I saw these two guys in the same building, they were tag team partners gone wrong. And th th they went absolutely haywire after the match was over. Absolutely. It was Lawler 35 right here at the Nick Gula Sports Arena. It was the, the tribute show for Terry the King Lawler celebrating his 35th year in the wrestling business. Those two teamed up to take on the Moondogs. And the end result saw dangerous Doug Gilbert delivering a fierce pile driver to Brian Christopher. And tonight, Brian Christopher wants revenge. He absolutely does. I talked with him earlier, and 
His, his demeanor has not changed since that night. He is just as adamant about taking out Doug Gilbert as he was then. And a close line there by Aiden Scott after the inverted atomic drop sends Chris Kane down. A wonderful combination there by the young Aiden Scott. And, and what's going on? Minute. Dyron Flynn out here now. He's going over to the, the other ring. And what is Dyron Flynn doing out here? He is, he is antagonizing. He's got no Chris, business out here. He's antagonizing Aiden Scott. Wait a minute. My goodness. Unbelievable. Chris Kane just pushed Aiden Scott from ring number two to ring number one. Well, what's going on here? Is, is this is this illegal?